Hello my stamping friends and welcome back. It's Sandy McIver here and today I am going to use the Hero Arts Buffalo Check background stamp and I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make Buffalo Check Tartan which adds a whole bunch of interest to the background of your card without a whole bunch of work. And as you can see I'm using my Misty here and because this is a rubber stamp with a backing you have to take the foam part out of your Misty so that the stamp will fit correctly into the Misty and the lid will close correctly. So I'm going face up with my stamp. I'm using half sheets of cardstock, so they're five and a half by eight and a half. And as you can see, I'm adding a little bit of adhesive on the back because I want the cardstock to stick to the lid of my Misty. Okay, so I've got it in there, and now I'm going to use one of the ink pads. I think this is Cherry from uh, Hero Arts, and it's about this time that you wish that you'd bought the full size ink pads because this does take a little bit to ink up. But that's all right, it's a really pretty red. Very nice for the holidays. And I'm going for a little bit of a masculine feel on these particular cards. So it does take a couple of secs to ink it up and actually you are going to have to ink it a couple of times to get a nice solid image. Uh, I think I did three on this one and I won't bore you with that. Here's the finished on the white. And now I'm going to flip this out, just clean a little bit of that ink off of the lid, and I am going to stamp the red onto a piece of sand cardstock. All of these cardstocks are from Hero Arts. And again, I'm just laying it down and I'm being brave because I didn't clean the stamp. And you see that I have that on a bit of an angle, which I didn't normally want. However, you can straighten it out when you do your cutting. Okay, so again, I think two or three layers of the ink and we have this beautiful red on craft. And so I switched this out and obviously I also stamp it in black. And now I'm going to show you the tartan. You need a ruler. I'm using my Tombow markers and I have got the red, which is 856 and the black, which is NIS. And with my ruler, I am going to add red lines down the edge of each side of the black image, just into the white about, I don't know, an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch. And you'll notice I'm doing one side at a time. I find it easier that way uh, because I can line up where my previous one was and I just find it easier to get the line straight this way. And when I get to the end of this one, you'll see that I am just going to pick it up and flip it over. It still has that adhesive on the back, so that kind of helps to keep it in place while I'm doing this. And I also find that standing and sticking your head kind of right over top of it ensures that you get a, a better feel for getting those lines straight. And I'm just getting to the end of this one. And then I'm going to flip this. And I'm going to do the same lines going the other direction. You'll see I do that right here. Okay, so just picking it up. And one tip. Uh, my plastic ruler was starting to pick up some of the marker, so I just rubbed it on a dry cloth to take it off. Now, you'll see that I have started with white lines. This time I'm going through the middle of the black stamped image. So you want to make sure that your ink is really dry and use a good quality white gel pen for this. And again, you want to go through the center of the black line in both directions. So here's a few cards that I've made. And again, I'm using Hero Arts products. This is Christmas Robins. And I have cut the plaid down to three and a half by four and three quarters. And I've matted each one three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And of course, I'm using uh, four and a quarter by five and a half A2 size cards. This is Christmas Robins that I used for these two. Uh, and I've got PDF tutorials on my blog post giving you all of the instructions and the Copic markers, etc. that I used. Uh, for the sentiment here, the Happy Holidays, I use the Christmas Holidays Stamp and Cut. And just so you know that, that Merry Christmas doesn't quite fit. For these cards, and this is the white tartan, I used the Color Layering Merry Christmas that's new this month from Hero Arts. And it's very cool. You stamp the thick one in red and then you go back over and your second layer of stamping is the skinny ones. And you do that in black and it adds the silhouette for you. Very cool stamp set. I have listed the supplies underneath this video. There's also a link over to my blog for the tutorials. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Until next time, toodles.